So, so let's learn how right. to do it correctly. First, pull the bar towards the front of the J-hooks. Continue to create tension towards your feet, feeling your lats. While keeping tension in the bar towards your feet, lock out your elbows. So, yeah. so make sure we're staying back Notice the how there is no upward travel right, of the bar when I'm racking. Forward and, and the bar just down. seems to glide into position. Right, you can actually see your if you can't do this by yourself yet, this. practice with someone right. who helps you with a lift off. Keep practicing and, and you'll master this in no time. Good. All right, the reason we got sets of two and we're doing a lot of it is so you get plenty of uh, plenty of practice kind of doing what you need to do. All right, so I actually think this one looked better. All right, so you sink your hips back, weights over the midfoot. Good indicator is the knee position out of the hole. Your knees slide back. And uh, you maintain your back angle, okay? So you have a tendency of keeping your knees forward out of the hole. So I think I see it on this one here. So yeah, on the way up, make sure you're driving the knees back. All right. The knees should slide back. But overall, they look pretty good, man. Uh, that first rep looked excellent, so make sure you grip in the ground, keep in tension in your hips, staying back in your hips, okay? And then on the way up, make sure the knees are sliding back, okay? Alright, so for the bench, I need you to clean up this unrack procedure a little bit. Let's see. Uh, a couple things on the bench. Alright, so when you unrack it, I'm going to slow this down. Watch how the bar goes up and then forward. up a bit. Alright, so actually maybe it might be just the J hooks. Let me see what this first one looks like. Yeah, so I want a little bit more lat tension, so you might want to lower that just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to forward you this uh, blog post I made about unracking. Um, for the bench press, do you... So just check that out. Um, read it over, let me know what you think. I'm going to send that through a messenger right now. Okay. Um, aside from that, I just want to make sure that the bar is ending in the, the right spot every time. Look how forward it looks. Alright, so if we took, like, right, right about there is where I want it. Okay. So, I'm sure what I'm talking about. I'll have you do a rep. And then as you're pressing up, I'll take it right there. I just want you to notice. Oh. So notice how straight up it goes, okay? So I'll take this angle here. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, notice how much further let's see, forward it is. So I just want you to be a little bit more proactive about pressing it back into the start position instead of like pressing it straight and then bringing it back to the start position. So we want to maintain that slight diagonal press, okay? Um, I think you do an excellent job getting the feet tight. Um, aside from that, clean up the unrack a bit and uh, clean up that bar path a little bit, okay? Alright. 
So I need you to keep the weight a little bit further back in the heels, and I want you to watch what actually happens to your arms, okay? I know it's light, but you actually like kind of bend the arms to pull the bar back in a position. All right, so make sure the weight stays biased to the heels, okay? Make sure the arms stay straight and loose, all right? That, the tightness should happen from the back of the arm, so think about loose arms, tight armpits. And uh, yeah, man, I love this bar. I want you to do variations that feel good on your shoulder. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of pulling, so just kind of proceed with caution on that and make sure your shoulder is feeling good. All right, man.